Welcome to Can I Bring That with your host, Hugh Hall. Welcome to Can I Bring That, the game show that helps you know what to bring, what not to bring, and what's provided when you move to Whitworth. I'm your host, Hugh Hall. Now let's send it over to my co-host, Carrie Boxes, for a quick rundown of our rules. Thanks, Hugh. It's pretty simple. We're going to place an item up on the screen and give you three seconds to answer yes or no to the question, can I bring that? Keep track of your own score. Winners will receive a lifetime supply of great college packing advice. Awesome. Thanks, Carrie. Now let's get started. Question number one. Can I bring a water bed? Your clock starts now. The answer is no. Water beds are not allowed on campus. Now let's kick it over to Carrie for some more details. Thanks, Hugh. No need to bring a water bed or a bed of any kind. Whitworth provides a twin extra long bed frame and mattress for all of its students. Whitworth also provides a dresser, desk, and chair, closet or wardrobe, blinds, and overhead lighting. You will need to bring your own pillow, pillowcase, and extra long bed linens, as well as a wastebasket. Since some rooms have tile floors rather than carpet, you may want to bring an area rug or carpet. And since not all rooms come with mirrors, you may want to bring your own. You should not bring cinder blocks or non-university issued lofts. Your home sweet home is already coming together. Now, on to question two. Question two, should I bring a Mac or a PC? The answer is either. Whitworth does provide computer access to students in the library and other academic buildings on campus, but that said, students are welcome to bring their own computer. Speaking of electronics, what else should students expect, Carrie? I'm glad you asked, Mr. Hall. Whitworth provides free Wi-Fi around the residence halls and across campus, wireless printers in residence hall lounges, and free internet access. You will need to bring a surge protector or power strip. The university strongly discourages students from using extension cords of any gauge, but if used, should be at least 14 gauge or thicker and no longer than six feet. You may want to bring additional lighting, except halogens. They are not allowed due to fire danger. A small box, floor or table fan, a TV, DVD, Blu-ray, video game console, Apple TV, or any other streaming device. You should not bring a wireless printer, light dimmers, ceiling fans, or any other device that replaces, adds to, or interferes with building fixtures. You should also not bring your own air conditioner. Thanks, Carrie. Now, question three. Can I bring candles? Trick question. The answer is yes. However, you can only use candles as decorations and they can never be lit. Speaking of lit, Whitworth takes fire hazards very seriously. You should not bring electric hot plates, woks, and toaster ovens, immersion coils, an electric skillet, appliances with open heating elements, sparklers, or any type of fireworks, including firecrackers and smoke bombs, a halogen lamp, any flammable and or combustible liquids, including art supplies such as thinners, or non-university issued space heaters. You may want to bring a flashlight in case of a power outage, or a desk lamp or table lamp that is not halogen based. Ooh, things are heating up now. On to question four. Can I bring my pet cat? No, my friends, you cannot bring your pet cat or any other live animal other than a fish in a small tank less than one gallon. 
Thanks, Hugh. It's also important to know that Whitworth does allow service animals and companion or emotional support animals who are approved by educational support services. Only three questions left. And here we go. Question five. Will Whitworth staff members do my laundry for me? <laughs> you guessed it, absolutely not. Mm. Carrie, any other laundry or cleanliness related issues we need to talk about? Definitely. Each residence hall has its own laundry facility. You can pay for your laundry in a variety of ways. You will need to bring laundry soap, a laundry basket, clothes hangers, bathroom towels, hand soap and shampoo, as well as a shower caddy. You may want to bring an iron and an ironing board, but let's be honest, it's college and sweatpants don't wrinkle. Fantastic. Now moving on. Question number six. Can I hang stuff on my walls? Yes, but it's complicated. <laughs> That's correct, Hugh. It can be a bit tricky. If you want to hang things on your wall, you will need to bring sticky tack or plasti tack, push pins or blue masking tape, otherwise known as painter's tape. You should not bring nails or screws of any size, foam tape or mounting squares such as command strips, scotch, masking, electrical, duct, filament, packaging, or double-sided tape, hot glue, plastic stars, stickers with adhesive, or staples. Thanks, Carrie. You're my best friend. Sadly, we're down to the final question, my friends, so here it is. Can I bring a full-sized refrigerator? That sounds heavy, and no. That said... There are kitchens in every residence hall that include a full-sized fridge, microwave, and other cooking essentials. You will need to bring your own cooking utensils. You may want to bring a small microwave or small refrigerator for your room, but make sure to coordinate on this with your roommate. You may also want to bring a coffee pot. Well, there you have it. Thanks for playing. Hopefully now you feel ready to pack your bags and excited to move to campus. Just a few more things. Whitworth does not allow weapons of any kind on campus, including knives. Also, if you are planning to bring a bike, you should bring a lock. We recommend a U-lock. We can't wait to welcome you to campus. If you have any questions, visit our website or contact the housing office. See you soon. Go, Go Pirates! Pirates. Until next time on Can I Bring That? <laughs>